On Friday, February 7th, the Mara Jerica Banks and Arzell Ivory buried their infant son. A medical examiner's report shows the baby died of viral bronchitis. Family says they spent Friday night into Saturday morning with Banks and her two daughters, Zanaya and Kamaria. Banks' sister says she dropped them off at Banks' apartment near Sherman and Florist around 1 a.m. Saturday. I hear like loud thumping and I hear a lady screaming, help, help, help. I hear a man yelling and then I hear her saying, but I didn't even do anything. That big picture window, that would be my living room. That would be her living room. Riri and Lee lives next to door to Banks. She told 12 News she called 911 around 1.51 a.m. Saturday, February 8th, when she heard fighting. I called 911 when I heard her screaming, help, help. I come back, look out the window. He's pulling her from that door right there. He's pulling her from over there back into their apartment. I put my ear back to the wall. The last thing I heard her say was, please don't kill me. And then it just got silent. A Milwaukee police call log shows police responded to the area around 2 a.m. but couldn't locate the complainant. Sunday, February 9th, Banks' family reported her and her daughters missing to police. Thursday, February 13th, Banks' brother sent 12 News an email asking for help finding his sister and her two daughters. We reached out to police that same morning. They told us this was not a critical missing case. Later, they issued their photos and information to 12 News. Saturday, February 15th, police arrested 25-year-old Arzell Ivory in Memphis, Tennessee at 3.41 in the morning. His father turned him in. By Saturday afternoon, an Amber Alert was issued. Sunday, February 16th, police discovered the bodies of Jerrica Banks and her two girls in a garage on 47th and Burley, Ivory's last known address. And Sarah joins us now. Sarah, what are Milwaukee police saying tonight? Well, Patrick, they told us they are aware of a 911 call that was made early Saturday, February 8th, which may be related to this incident. They said, quote, it is being reviewed as a part of this investigation.